Todd, you've imploded a few times in the third period. This has to be tougher than the five two losses. Can you just talk about how this slid away after two oh, it's and a half pretty good periods? It's penalties. That's uh, you take three, two of them in the offensive zone. Uh, last one with five minutes to go in the game. Penalties. The players that we that we talked to in the room really felt like they squandered the opportunity that Bob gave them earlier in the game. How does it make you feel when, when the team takes that many penalties late in the game to, to blow a lead and, and blow a win like that, or, or a potential win? I think it makes everyone feel the same way. You have you know, guys, some guys putting it on the line, blocking shots. You have a goaltender who's battling. You see the desperation in our defense because we spent a good part of the second period in our own zone. You have a 2 nothing lead with half the game to go. You take penalties. Give them an opportunity. Ty, what was more frustrating for, for the team? Was it the timing of the penalties in the game or the execution on those kills and failure to clear the puck? Oh, it was just well, taking the penalties. We took two in the offensive zone, and again, the last one. Just not not good. Ty, I think it was 9-2 nine, nine to two and Penalties, you had one power play tonight. Any issue with the overall of the the way it was? Uh, it you, went? I thought there was a couple earlier in the game that uh, Savard's interference and I think Felino's hook that to me were were questionable. But you go back and look at the other ones and I think they're deserved. Tougher than tougher to swallow than the five two games where uh, you I, weren't in it much. Or is this I, I I don't know. I don't. It's it's. This one's still fresh. Tough to compare it to the other ones. It's just really disappointing. Todd, we talked about reaching the halfway point. Do you feel after these three losses that maybe it's glass half full a little bit right now as opposed to, or glass half empty as opposed to half full? Uh, again, I'm not, it's just disappointing. This one's, this one bothers me. Uh, you know, um, the way that we we found a way to lose this game. Coach, you're a team that's still trying to generate more shooting, uh, scoring chances, shots during the course of the game over the last three. But you did get another goal from Kevin Connaughton. Are you surprised how much offense you've been getting from the blue line? Our, well, our defensive uh, still like to find ways to get more pucks through from the back end. Uh, but uh, obviously, he's he's done a good job con contributing in the offensive zone and, and getting pucks. Uh, uh, behind the opposition's goalie. Todd, building on that, obviously the focus was in generating more offense, more shots on goal. How disruptive were all those penalties to that tonight? Well, that was disruptive, but we spent uh, battles, the first battle, their sticks were better than ours. They, they were able to get their, their sticks on pucks, knock it away from us. And we had to spend more time in our own zone. We had a couple, maybe two shifts in a row in the second period where we put it into their zone. We forecheck, create some turnovers, generate a little bit of momentum. But spent a lot of time in our own zone. Some of it was based off of uh, penalty kills. Spending too much time in the box. Can you speak specifically to Dubinsky's penalty? A veteran player in that situation in the game going seemingly out of his way for that. Just how do you handle a veteran player who makes a decision like that at that stage well, of the game? It's just, it, you know, all the penalties, all the penalties. In the, in the third period, just bad penalties.